Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how the Max for Life device All Out works and how you can use it with other multi-channel speaker system audio canvas. Before this video you should already have set up the 8 audio tracks that work as outputs in audio canvas. All Out is a Max for Life device that allows you to output audio to one or more speakers in rather 16 channel speaker system audio canvas. All Out sends audio from a track to one or more speaker in Audio Canvas. To open its menu, press the Open button. A speaker can be turned on or off in the Speaker On or Off menu, so that it either sends output audio via that speaker or not. To turn off a speaker in All Out, press the corresponding button for the speaker. A speaker is turned off when the button is grey, and turned on when the button is yellow. The volume for each speaker and all out can also be adjusted by the corresponding dial. This can also be automated in Ableton. And the value can be reset by double clicking on this dial. It is important to notice one thing about all out. In the audio 2 menu, it should be set to sense only for all out to work correctly. Before outputting sound via All Out, the routing section in All Out needs to be set up correctly. The routing section for All Out is located in the lower left corner under Output Routing and Gain. Each speaker pair, 1, 2 and so forth, need to be routed to its corresponding output track that was set up in the previous video. To set up the routing for a speaker pair, click on the drop down menu below its name. Then. Select the corresponding output track for the speaker pair. Speaker pair 1, 2 should be routed to the output track with the outputs 1, 2 and so forth. When this is done, All Out is ready to use with our Artist Audio Canvas system. Since All Out routes the sound from its parent track, for example, a track for a guitar loop, or in this case, an operator, to 18 audio tracks that works as a output tracks to the 16 speakers, all out should only be at the end of the signal chain. That means that all instruments or sound processing via effects such as reverb or drum, drum bus should take place before all out. It is not possible to use return tracks while using All Out, since it grabs the audio before it's sent out to the master channel or return channel. It is also not possible to use multiple chains in effects track while using All Out. That means that you can't do parallel processing with two or more All Out devices using either return tracks or multiple chains in effect racks. The other way to do parallel processing with All Out is by creating three tracks. The first track should have your sample or MIDI instrument in it with its output set to sense only. Next, create two audio tracks, each with an all out loaded. The audio two should be set to sense only. Next, in the audio from menu, select the instrument track or sample track. You can now load different effects on each track to process the original sound different. You could have a track with no effect on, a dry track, and a track with effects on, a wet track, and automate the individual volume to create evolving spatial sounds. Remember that all out should be at the end of the signal chain.